hello everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel thank you for subscribing to this channel and i promise you won't regret it all right you're going to learn a lot of tips and tricks all right in this specific video you're going to learn a lot techno t312 came in for repair and the guy said he inserted battery into this phone and pressed the power button and the phone is not working at all so i'm going to do the same thing and put a brand new battery from my shop and i will press the power button okay to see if the problem he claimed the phone is having is what the phone is having and as you can see the phone is not powering on all right the guy did not tell me anything else apart from that the phone is not powering on so now it's my job as a technician to figure out what the problem is all right putting my multimeter on diode mode okay we're going to put the red probe on ground which is the gnd and you put your black probe you use your black probe to take readings okay so we are going to read first the battery terminals okay which is called also called the vbat all right taking reading from the negative terminal of the vbat it must read to the ground or you can hear a big sound from your multimeter and the right side which is the positive terminal of the vbat is also reading short to the ground guys once you see this type of reading on any phone on any phone be it iphone android that means the phone is having a full shot a full shot full shot full shot or full shorted circuit all right so now let's see oh and you can see from here doing a physical inspection you can see here even, even without opening the phone further you can see the phone is having a liquid damage okay or a moist damage all right let's open up this and you can see from what I'm seeing, it's like a technician has worked on this particular device before, but that is not our problem. Let's take a look at water damage everywhere. Look at the charging section. It's also having water damage. Uh, symptoms right there, right here as well. Water damage everywhere. Okay, so that means the reason why this phone goes dead is because of water or liquid damage. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot this device properly all right from beginning to start please don't skip any part of this video because you are going to learn a lot as a technician okay all right the first thing we are going to do is what the technician knows as uh servicing okay servicing is a way you use your accord to clean the pcb because of the water damages you know the rust or the water damage symptoms can bridge components together okay so when you use chemical to brush it off like this it separates all the all it separates the 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 the, the deaths away from this mobile pcb okay so once you service like that you service thoroughly with your chemical or your alcohol okay it is very important that you service properly all right so sometimes when we service like this all right just this simple servicing it might remove the shot now let's take a look is the shot gone or the shot is still there all right putting your multimeter on diode mode as well again taking readings the shot is still very much alive on this pcb guys is very much alive on this PCB. So what next are we going to do? We are going to do a full servicing right now and it involves removing the shield, okay? Many technicians service a phone and they leave the shield there without removing the shield. In case of water damage, you need to remove all the shield because water enters anywhere in the PCB, okay? That's I'm applying the flux and I want to remove the shield, okay? You remove the shield with your rework station and eating it up all right eating it round make sure the heat is evenly distributed on the shield so you can get a proper result okay so many technicians says they service a the phone and the phone is still not working why because they didn't remove the shield it is important we remove the shield let's see what is under this shield guys look at that rust i'm seeing right there i'm going to show you right now look at that rust all over under the shield and i and i believed i have serviced the phone all right so now let's do another thorough servicing okay which is thorough cleaning of the pcb with the alcohol and with the brush so sometimes when you brush this off like that and you eat the pcb the shorts can be gone now i want to use my multimeter to read if the shot is still there or the shot is gone and i'm reading that the shot is still there wait let me show you all right so don't forget 
your multimeter on diode mode, red probe on ground and black probe to take reading. Now let's take another reading. And the PCB is still reading that there is a full shot on this PCB despite the fact that we have surfaced, we have serviced this PCB thoroughly. The shot is still there. The shot is still saying, hey bro, I'm here. Now, another method I want us to do use is using the shot killer okay if you want to know how to use shot or how to make a shot killer please comment down in this comment section below okay putting my shot killer probe negative to ground and the positive to the positive terminal of the VBAT. i'm gonna sense with my finger see where it is coming out from i'm trying to feel with my finger when you are feeling you have to be very careful because sometimes the component the shorter component can be very very hot as i can't feel any heat per se i'm going to move on to my dc power supply and inject voltage and increase the amps okay i'm going to increase the amps i mean i'm going to increase the current all right that is flowing through the vbat section okay i'm increasing it to like four amps right there and the current is still uh, the voltage is still set on five volts i'm going to use my uh probes the black probe on ground which is the negative terminal and the red probe on the positive terminal of the VBAT. Okay, so now I'm going to have an auto, auto ampere on my DC power supply and I'm feeling it right now. And I see that this IC right here, that network IC right here is eating up. I'm also checking if there's any other component that is eating up on this PCB, but I'm sensing it from that uh network ic area so i'm going to use my aqua again to see the exact component that is eating up okay all right spreading the aqua on the components around i'm going to see the the first component that gets dry okay and as you can see that network ic is eating up as quick as possible it's eating up as quick as possible guys so reading again all right, because I have injected more voltage, the, 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 the shot has reduced and it's no more reading like short shot to the ground. But now let's use the head of a thermal camera, okay? Using the help of thermal camera. And as you can see, still injecting that voltage on that PCB and we can see the red spot. The red spot is still that network IC right there. Still that network I see that right there. Okay, I told you guys when you see uh, a component and I see eating up, sometimes it might be a capacitor that is shorted or a or a dial that is shorted that is making this IC to eat up. I've mentioned in my previous videos if you are watching, all right. So now to detect exact shorted component, let's take readings around this network IC. I'm reading this capacitor and it's shorted on that side and on this side as well you can see there is another short so this capacitor is short right take note of that the next capacitor around that i'm measuring again and this capacitor is reading well another one right here this one is also reading properly okay that means this one this capacitor is a suspect okay now this capacitor is a suspect and is is reading short now let's pop that capacitor out from the pcb all right we've popped that capacitor out and as you can see this is the capacitor right here. and the way it's even looking it's looking like the water has over damaged that capacitor okay and sometimes the capacitor can still be good it doesn't matter how it's looking all right because we are talking about water damage issue right here okay guys let's take reading now and the shot is gone the shot is gone guys i'm very very happy the shot is gone now let's put it to a test let's put the battery and let's see please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more amazing tips and tricks guys are you enjoying this video now let's put the battery and power on the phone i'm expecting this phone to work guys come on man Let's go, let's go. And the phone is switching on. Guys, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel, guys. Make sure you subscribe right now. Share this video with your technician friends. How oh, this is a perfect way to troubleshoot a dead phone step by step, guys. Hit that like button. And now let's take reading on that removed, the capacitor that we removed. And let's see if it's really shorted or not. 
okay now let me press a bit harder and you can see the capacitor is short all right reading from both sides the capacitor is short now some people can be asking me okay but you've removed a capacitor from that network ic is it going to affect the network of this phone now guys let me insert a sim card to confirm to you if it's going to affect it or not okay but it's always very important either it affects it or not it is always important to replace that capacitor with the same size of that capacitor with the same capacitance okay now let me power on the phone and i've inserted a sim card so let's see if the network is going to pop out or not okay guys let's go and it's searching network is searching right there and we can see the network came out fine see you in my next video peace